An evening before, they brought the, 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 the so-called deal out, and it said it was like it's a something they'd agreed upon, which I think inflamed everybody really because they thought, what deal? What deal's going on behind our backs that we don't know about? So that's why we all went down to the ECU head office to express our feelings yesterday morning. Um, obviously, Sally Hunt was making a speech, and uh, a few people heckled her, and I think they made her realise that the union's very strong now. We've got a big membership now, and we're not going to take any any half-baked deal. We want at least the status quo, and if we don't get the status quo, we want something better. <laughs> Yesterday we were trying to resist because of the agreement that was proposed and we did not agree with the proposal. We felt, uh, we felt great after, after the rejection. We just want our pensions, we want to teach, but we also very much want our pensions. <laughs> I just hope we can keep the momentum up because on Friday the strike will end and then I think it'll be two more weeks before we have more strike action so it's important to go back into the universities, keep momentum going, talk to people, try and get as many people out for the next batch of strikes. I think if anything what yesterday happened was that it made people more determined that we're going to stick this out. We've done 14 days almost now, we've lost a lot of money and now basically we're not going to give in until we get what we want otherwise all this is going to be for nothing and we've made sacrifices. We say come back. We say strike.